And another fun unit for you this morning, looking at this video from Iowa. This all was captured during a storm last week, a snowstorm. The entire sky glowing pink, almost like a bubble gum. Mm -hmm. As a winter storm slammed the region, the video, it's been making its rounds online. But what actually caused this eye-catching phenomenon? Uh, you have questions, we have answers. And mm -hmm. joining us now to break it all down is Stephen Fesna, professor of snow hydrology at Colorado State University. Stephen, Happy New Year. Thanks so much for joining us. What caused the sky to turn mm -hmm. pink? It was amazing. It, it was amazing. Um, I wasn't there, unfortunately, and uh, I, I know Marissa would have loved it. She's <laughs> such a winter enthusiast. Uh, Michael, he probably would have stayed away. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's rather uncommon, and it happened during sunset. And think of going out uh, when the sun is setting and looking in the opposite direction. You know, For us to look in the north and you see that pink in the sky, well, it's similar here. You just need those right conditions. You need the sun to be setting. You need a little bit of opening, right? So the snow was falling. It was a blizzard. You had the wind going through there, but you need a bit of an opening in the clouds for that sun, for those reds to then get uh, reflected, to then refract, to then come through and give us the pinks. The alignment that you need for this to happen, because we've had snowstorms during sunset before, but this really was a pretty unique yeah. thing to happen. And it kind of does play a trick on you, right? Because the color you're seeing, you're thinking, wait, are those pink clouds? But they're not pink clouds, right? It's just a trick of the light and how, I guess it's, where the word be, refracting? Yes, and you, you, it is a trick of the eye as well, because you go, this doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be pink. These are our Barbie colors. And when, when you think about, though, when the sun's setting, even when the sun is rising, I was out this morning, and there was a little bit of cloud in the sky, and that then gave me that pink. So you need, you need enough of the clouds to be broken, to be open in that direction where that light is coming in. So it's quite a unique situation. I mean, Stephen, it, is, um, it almost looks miraculous to me when I look at this. Is there a reason, like I'm looking at the different shades on this video, and it, it's like a pink, and then it's almost like a lavender, and I see like a purple. It almost looks as if the light itself might be changing changing color as well. And it, it's likely right as the sun is setting. So think about looking at a beautiful sunset and you just have those changes in colors as things get darker. And we're seeing something similar here where that, that color is changing. You know, in this picture, that's, that's the moon. That was uh, sunrise a few days ago. I was looking west. You know, that picture there you see, that sunset in Iowa. So mm. th picture that with clouds above it and those clouds then are just dumping snow and often you've got the wind blowing through there and kind of leaving that a bit of an opening in the horizon. I I am in awe. I I, it's so funny. We always talk in my family, what do you prefer, sunrise, sunset? And I, I think sunsets are more beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about watching the sun go to sleep for the night, so to speak. Um, but even looking at the clouds this morning in New York City to mm -hmm. see the shades of pink and orange that were kind of outlining them, how special it was. It's, this isn't a, a unique thing necessarily to Iowa, right? Like if we get the right elements and everything times out perfectly, you could get this in other spots. You, you you can get this pretty well anywhere, but you just need the right conditions. It's that perfect storm in a positive sense, where you just have a little bit of the of the sky that's open below the clouds, and that gives you that that pink sky. It makes the the snow look pink, but the snow is not actually pink. Exactly. And, you know, it reminds me of when people say, oh, there's a big giant like thunderstorm moving through with lots of hail and the sky almost turns like an uh, uh, like a greenish color. It's the mm -hmm. you know light that's kind of you know, reflected or refracted through the ice crystals. I mean, Stephen, this is just I mean, this is so beautiful. You said that you've never seen anything like this before. I, I have not seen it. I was in Iowa. Uh, just before this, and I'm, I'm kind of jealous of the people in north central Iowa. I, I've, I've seen pink snow. I've seen when the snow is melting, you can get that algae. That's 
that's not uncommon to get the snow to look pink and you get those patches, but to see the whole sky is pink, this is beautiful. And Stephen, we have to go, but real quickly, would you say that it made it worse for visibility? Because this was a blizzard. Yes, uh, because you're you're just used to you're used to being able to see, and with that blizzard, you don't see much, and the pink is just throwing you off that much further. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if I was there while this was going on, I'd be standing outside in full awe. <laughs> You'd know who the meteorologist was yeah. up that way, the meteorologist, because we would be. All, we would be salivating. Uh, salivating. That's exactly it. Well, Steve, we don't want to take up any more of your time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here on Weather Come In. Mm. That is Professor Stephen Fastnam with the snow hydrology at CSU, Colorado State University. Thank you so much for your uh, in depth mm -hmm. dedication to this and yeah. your analysis. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Marissa.